Hello, my name is Sarah Monroe, and I will be describing case four this week, which is the Textile Workers Union of America versus Darlington Manufacturing Company. Employees at Darlington Manufacturing Company were told by the president that if they elected to form a union, the plant would be shut down. Shortly after these threats, the union did win this election, forming this union, of course. Hearing of their victory, the president ordered for the plant to be shut down. The union then filed charges with the National Relations Labor's Board stating that Darlington had violated the National Labor Relations Act. The board eventually did find Darlington guilty of an unfair labor practice in the form of anti-union animus, which is the illegal discrimination against an employee regarding their union status. Darlington was then forced to pay back pay to these employees until they obtained substantially equivalent work or were on a preferential hiring list at these other plants. I hope that was enough information and I hope you guys have a great night.